Yeah, it's on. Yeah, the, oh. the shotgun mic? Yeah, shotgun mic, testing, testing, one, two, three, alphabet soup is amazing. Okay. Been going through the grounded game. You are good. Mm. Good, good, good. We got life, baby. Hey, hey girl, who did you say created what, box wine? Australia. 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 Not Napa Valley? No. They may have adopted it and pushed it further, but... So, what I'm hearing a lot of winos say recent in recent times is that Winos, wine, or, winos. or people who are all Un- about the fancy no, wines? No, not, not the wine connoisseurs, but people who drink a lot of oh, wine. Oh, like, like, like the boss wine bitches. Alcoholic. Yeah, something like that. But, like, the, you know, women the that party are like, bus girls. Oh, oh, let me get that. Let me get the, let me get the $90 girls. bottle of wine, right? And, you know... Or you know it's it's twenty something dollars a glass type of thing and and but the 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 most recent Bro, comment that I'm hearing is box wine has made a comeback. You know what we it used to so do good. What, what do you used... mean box wines made a comeback? It never left. At least I mean, not here in Texas. So in the nineties, I know I've done it on the river so many times. Slap that bag. That's yeah. a, <laughs> the funniest thing is we used to buy those bags and make our mixed drinks and put them in the whole box wine. Container, oh, wow. or we'd put them in like a Dunkin' Donuts thing, or oh, dude, I saw that. I life. saw this thing on uh, TikTok shop the other day where you can buy a bag and fill it with your your drink, make your mixed drink That's in it. Literally, what I was saying. And you welcome put it to the cooler. party. <laughs> welcome to the party. How old are you, boy? Ah, oh, just starting. I'll be twenty one next year. Twenty one again. Hey, but this is name pending. This is name pending still. I'm Mike Culberson. Um, cut or. Cut her. Oh, oh, give me that hat. Cause my hair he's, is a mess. He's, he's a baby back bitch. Baby back. Wow, triple B. And if we got monetized, we would immediately be demonetized. <laughs> Why? Bummer. Because we cursed within, within uh, 30 seconds. Nope, we're good. No, we it's didn't. It's past 30 seconds. It's past. It is. Because we talked about botched wine. But you did say wine bitches or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, well, demonetized. And I'm Kelt, by the way. That's Kelt. That's our other bitch. Uh, Our bottom bitch. Because, you know, Air Force. I'm an uh, upper bitch. I need you to do it how Air Force actually does it. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. You're talking about the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Which they, like, they're so proud of. They're so proud of it. I'm just like, huh? Huh, sorry? Huh? I can't wait to have goose on this because we were totally doing the... (laughs) (laughs) That's what we were doing. Yes, Poppy. I mean, what was yours? I Capitan. My favorite thing about who in the army is, is the ability to look your NCO in the face as they send some dumb huh, shit and go, who sergeant? Pretty much everyone in the perimeter. Bless no. your heart. <laughs> that's, that's not a bless your heart. That's a bless your little heart. No, that that's a bless your Man, heart. That's, that's a bless your heart right there. It's Woo. like mm, just for you. Yeah, leave me alone. Yeah. Really, properly, <laughs> fuck off, respectfully. <laughs> Eat a bag of dicks. Uh, so book talk. Yep. Hey, what have you read this week, Mike? I have read what? Well, I've read two series. One of it was nine books, and one of them was... I've only gone through four books of, like, the ten book series so far. Jesus. I think it's ten books. That's a lot I of books. I read too many white papers this week to care about reading a book. And then I read, like, part of one book, but really there were, like, way too many relationships happening. And I don't know about y'all, but Thruples when, I, when and... I'm reading, like, a, a like fantasy adventure book, like... The I don't relationship want is the side story for me. I don't need uh, that to just be constantly popping. I don't need a side piece in my book. Yeah, like while like, I'm going through the main story, I like there to be progression in the relationship, but I don't need this to be the main focus in my face all the time because I don't really care. <laughs> Ron, Hermione, Ron, Hermione, right? No one cares. Also, oh, my kids also, are watching by Harry the way, Potter. Hermione should never have ended up with Ron. It was always supposed to end up with Harry. We all know what happened. Fucking Rollins was like, oh, all the fans think she's going to end up with Harry, so I'm going to make her end up with Ron. I know what you did, Rollins. I know what you did, and all the fans know what you did. I don't think this is a very hot take. I think a lot of people agree with me. So I I got to, I got to, I've got to talk on this, because I don't talk books. They're watching the movies, not 
reading the books. Right, they're watching the movies. Uh, and and knowing Micah, he'll want to read the books next. But at the end of the series, when Harry is like about to die, and like there's the light at the end of the tunnel type of thing, he asked Voldemort, "Did I did I just make all this? Like, was this he all in my head?" He didn't ask Voldemort. He did. It, it was. It was Dumbledore. 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 Sorry. Uh, he asked Dumbledore, "Is this all in my head?" I totally feel like a Harry Potter nerd now for and, knowing this. And Dumbledore turns and says. What would it ma- basically? What would it matter if it was or wasn't? Real? Right, right. I mean, and he's does it not really matter? Wrong. No, it's not. So let's hit that. Why is he not wrong? Because and 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 let's, because let's talk about for the meaning that that conversation and the peace that that conversation brought to Harry. What? How that affected Harry meant that that it didn't matter whether or not it was real or fake. The ultimate result, the ultimate emotional result of that conversation and the peace he gained from that, the answers he gained from that, meant that it didn't matter whether or not it was real. All that mattered was whether or not he decided it was real. Right. So here's the thing like, we're all vets. You're in some level of pain. You're in some level of pain. I'm always in pain. But a doctor turns around and says, ah, it's just in your head. Well, does it matter that it's in my head? Because in my head, it's fucking real, right? So we can definitely touch on this later because there's a mm-hmm. lot that goes into... I do agree a lot of it's in your head. Yeah. Real quick staple on this, and then we're going to jump back into the book talk. Yeah. A lot can be controlled in your head. Absolutely. Mind over matter. Period. We can touch on this later but, because I mean, if it's... if you also change your heart, if you control your heart rate, it can also lower your, your uh, level of... Constant pain. But I have an important question. So you said Micah's watching the movies, yep. and he's going to go into the books. Will you go into the books with him? Absolutely. Yeah. I I I don't... I want to read the books because I know that like 90% of the good shit was left out. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a ton of good shit there's left more, out. There's more, I would easily say, almost like 95 was it, left out. There, there were a lot of like character interactions and Straight up characters. Characters that are just gone. Who are gone. Like Luna Lovegood. Or what? No, the other. Was one of my favorite characters. Luna, I mean, she's touched on almost from the beginning. Same with the, the black, uh, the black uh, Gryffindor isn't touched on heavily until like, yeah, no, the black guy. The black guy isn't touched on until like movie three or four. Yeah. And it was like, well, he was a huge part of this. Well, and, and they, they the don't really talk room. about. They don't talk about Quidditch nearly as much in the movies. Yeah, it's it's like football here in Texas. It, Everyone's it, it, it's in every right. book but one. Yeah. yeah. Well, two two books. My bad. My bad. Because the very last book Tech because he wasn't in two. school. Yeah. I mean, um, I think there was still some Quidditch talk, but not enough to be. No, they there was Quidditch talk, but he wasn't playing. He the wasn't. Game. Yeah. Book book talk. Book, yeah, book, book talk. talk. So I'm the excited. series I do want to talk about. Hey Kelt, shut the fuck up. Keeper, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no one loves you. <laughs> hey, let's take big chug. <laughs> no, I promised Jess I wouldn't get shit faced today. Last time I was gone. Were you? I, uh... I don't know if it was because I didn't eat enough, but I was on the bathroom floor and I slept there. I apparently shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, mm. yeah, I was we'll bad. We'll cut that one out. Okay. Well, no, we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. Why would, no. why would we cut that out? Why do we want the world to know you shit yourself? Why okay, would we? Okay, look. My first, oh, my God, there's a breeze. My first <sighs> duty station, <laughs> we had an airman that I worked with when I was military. In every single party, he was like, and I shit myself. I got to go change. And we're playing King's Cup. We're all shit-faced. And he was like, Hey, uh, wife, can you come help me? And he would get changed. He bought more underwear than any person I've ever met. Why didn't he just wear a diaper if he knew he was going to fucking shit himself? Well, the funniest part would be the middle of the week. We didn't drink the day before, and he'd shit himself. It's like, go get some depends. It just, it just happened. That was my drinking days. But back to book talk book again. Talk, book talk. So I want to talk about a sci-fi series. Oh, that breeze. Uh, yeah, that breeze. I don't know. It, the viewers don't know this, but it is like 
85 degrees feels like it's Fuck 130. That, it's still, no, it's 87. That feels like it's look. 130 out here. It has been just stopped, still, no airflow for fucking hours. 96 right now. But back to book What's talk again. What's the real feel? I didn't look at real feel. I didn't look at NOAA. By the way, oh you should only God, use that one. Oh my God, there's a breeze crack. So the book yeah, series only, you're reading. Only use the National Weather Service because all the data is still that pulled is provided from. to your AccuWeather and your Weather Channel and all that stuff, that's all free data provided by your tax dollars to the National Weather Service, and all they're doing is profiting off your tax dollars. Yep. Fuck that shit. So I told him about... NOAA doesn't have ads, by the way. No, it doesn't. On their site, on their app, no ads. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I, I'm going to force myself to put a link to that below because I hate myself. Maybe we'll throw it in here. Right between the two of them. I hate you. Anyway. A big picture JPEG with the link. And we'll make it a hyperlink, actually. On this top will be of that, a right? short making Mike's job harder. <laughs> we'll put a hyperlink in the video. And I'm going to put a blurry <laughs> dick right next to both their faces. Right in between. Make sure it's a millimeter, Peter. <laughs> hey, look, who's not doing this? I'm slapping it. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, no, baby. it wasn't. Hey, Captain. Hi, <laughs> <I>, Captain. <laughs> So book talk. book talk. It's been a tangent. <laughs> ADHD has hit sci-fi. on sci-fi. <laughs> so uh, it's a sci-fi book. It, funny thing about this is I remember reading like the first or second book in the series, and then like I lost track of the book series for a very long time. And I was trying to remember the name of the series forever so that I could go back to it. Because you just purged through books every week, so it makes sense. But like, and it was like for for like hardcover or audiobook. Hardcover. Hardcover. Okay. Um, so for like a few years, like I've been trying to track it down. Um, and the first book in the series is called The Terran Privateer, Duchy of Terra, book one by Glenn Stewart. You've heard me talk about Glenn Stewart before. Yep. Um, so it starts out, you know, humanity's kind of in space. They're doing stuff. Uh, this admiral is going out to one of the one of the um one of the the space yards you know one of the secret secret squirrel space yards this one's called bugworks uh run by a company like lockheed but it's not lockheed um mm, okay you know it's, it's a <laughs> fictional, start with a b it's a fictional company it's all fictional oh i see i see okay. it's just used it's comparing yeah, in a way yeah same way uh, okay star wars harry potter everyone compares and so something. they're like hey we've got technology so instead of having to use like thrusters and shit to like propel the ships around and everything, uh, now it's like you, it's just like based off of gravity or whatever, and the ship just move. And it, it's fucking fast as shit, and it just moves. Okay. And so they've got gravity these, thrusters. Yeah, they've got all these new technologies that they're showing them, and they're like, "Holy shit, we need to start implementing this stuff." Yeah. And here's the hook. The captain of the 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 ship that's doing the the test flight to demonstration for the admiral is a captain who got you know quietly retired from the service because there was a good old boys club and mm. she you know brought to light a bunch of bad shit that one of the good old boys was doing. Why is it every single time, at least the books you've read, it's always the female captain that gets like fucked hard like <laughs> no because it's a no it's seriously. a male chauvinistic author. no this is i seriously why is it why do authors it's, push it's, this way it's only because i haven't talked about the other side because i haven't brought them up and because i haven't read them lately is i haven't talked about the other sci-fi series in which the male one off or the male protagonists okay. are the ones who get fucked over you know what this is crazy, a, though is this is a standard trope to space opera this is also almost close to reality where in military setting females get fucked over no matter what like, by the way texas just touched me howdy hey touch no me. howdy not hey calm yeah, down you keep that over there by the way texas a&m just hey. won softball <gasps> they won the softball champions um they're moving on 
um it wasn't divisional it was regional yeah so they're moving on to be regional they just hosted this one and i think they won congratulations so, I'll tell you what there's a lot of support i i know that this is a football state but even then there's a lot of support for our softball but we want our women to do softball baseball. you we, know what though there's there's a lot of support for football Softball and baseball. Baseball is well, actually coming up in, well, in the San Antonio area. On the women's area. section, we're really touching on cheerleading for women in Texas over the past couple of years. Yeah, women's sports, including softball. Yeah, basketball is up and coming. It's not as big in Texas. Yeah, it, but it, softball it, is like, Dario. It's really starting to take off. It and really I'm, is. I'm glad. I really am glad. I mean, softball is actually becoming a professional sport, like where they're able to. It's get been paid a professional for, sport. Well, where they yeah, can get paid getting, like MLB. We're we're getting off track from book talk to so, Yeah, the sci-fi. The, almost we, realistic. We move off. It, it's so it's so always the women gets fucked over in so, one sense or another. Know, they, the admiral is like, listen, I was not able to cover you down for for this entire incident. You got quietly retired. I want you to come back, and I'm gonna back you all the way because I want you to command the ship because you're the only one who knows how to use this new technology. So they brought her into service again. They brought her into service again. Okay. As a captain. So we're talking about full bird. Yeah. Because this is Navy, right? Yeah. You know, this is space Navy. Uh, and as they're doing the, like, Oh, I need to play Halo again. Oh man. We need to play Halo again. Um, my brain. <laughs> we need to play Halo. It's on the steam deck. Let's go. Whenever you're ready, bro. We can do four players after this, three players after this. Um, but she's commanding this, put so, in charge. So whatever because ceremony she knows they how have to use it to, to like recommission her. Yeah, no, no, the ceremony to say that this ship is commissioned as part of the navy. Oh, the whole wine bottle on the yeah, yeah. Um, as they're doing commemoration that, ceremony. Yes, the commemoration ceremony. As they're doing that, they get a emergency alert. There's a fleet coming in on Earth. Let's go. She's like, mm, I just put my pants on. Let's go. And they straight up get told it's like your ship is the only ship that can compete with them, and their technology is still going to blow us out of the water. Destroy them. What's going to happen is you get one pass with your weapons, and then when you do, here's a privateering certificate issued from the government go out find technology and come back and free us from our what soon to be oppressors you're a legal pirate privateers legal pirate and so this is where we're going to get into spoilers because like it's fascinating until we get to the real hook which the real hook for me was at the end of the book i mean all these are touching on stuff well, we grew up with like firefly hold on let me get to the hook the real hook. I'm already hooked. Like this might be the next book I jump no, on and I say fuck told the other you one. What your next book? I has have to it be. downloaded. I told you what it has to be. What's I the name of this book that you're reading? I already told you. He already said it. You need a refresher. I do. In the Navy, the Terran Privateer, Duchy of Terra, Book One, by Glenn Stewart. Glenn Stewart. Okay. Um. And so you know she goes out. She's. She's being a pirate. She's making deals with aliens. She's Wait doing all this stuff. How the fuck can you blame me for not remembering such a long ass title? You had to look at your phone and read it. I could have. <laughs> I'm sorry, my ADD is I nuts today. <laughs> realistically, said it off the top of my head, but I wanted to make sure I got it right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so aliens. No, she's a privateer can I now. Talk? Yes. She has legal privateer, and that's where he was at. Now you have to ask him. Can I talk? I was briefing the <laughs> audience on where we were. Man, fuck me. I'll back up. <laughs> oh, you wanted energy. I brought it, baby. <laughs> um, so she's gone and she's done all these things. And along the way, she finds out that portions of the invading Navy have, you know, they don't condone slavery at all. Well, some members of it have started disappearing some humans. And there's about 3,000 humans that have been disappeared off Earth. And she finds 1,500 of them. Sex trafficking. At a logistics <laughs> base. So, 
<laughs> no, no, not fucking with you. There was like alien on it on human rape in one of these scenes. Are you serious? Dead serious. Um, you that's can't rape the willing. Of, that's a whole other form of bestiality. Um, is it though? And so she goes off. I mean, aliens are beasts. Are they? Opinion. They can be. They can be. No, doesn't mean Especially they have. Especially if they got tentacles. Ooh, that's an octopus. 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 Octopi. <laughs> Man. So she goes off. I'm the smartest one on this bench. <laughs> she recovers. I'm not arguing that. Of the slaves, <laughs> and while she's recovering them, she finds out that there's <laughs> another 1500 in the secret squirrel place for the pirate somewhere else. So she goes off and she gets them. While she's getting them, she also recovers um, super weapons, which cause stars to explode. Calm down, Death Star. Stars to go supernova. <laughs> yeah. Now, is that to the degree where they like invert and no, the it's black to holes? the degree to where they wipe, they they blow, they don't implode, they outflow, explode, okay. if you would. But like with I such magnitude before. that it eventually turns it. Because like if if you take the sun, for instance, there are stars that to... explode and create and implosions. Nebula. I mean, they create implosions eventually because matter eventually needs to come back together to do something. Right, and if they explode, rather than turning into black holes, they create nebulas, yep. and then nebulas eventually become stars again. Yep, because matter hits each other and makes a new, yeah. new form. And we don't know whether or not black holes turn into something else. Well, I mean, Currently. I'm sure that somewhere in that black hole there's got to be existence of something. So what we have found is that data is not created or destroyed even in a black hole because black hole actually outputs radio waves and data. Didn't, I thought NASA ended up putting a, I don't satellite, know, a, into a satellite into one. I might be wrong on that. but You are definitely wrong on that. You were 1,000% wrong on that. Anyways, so she gets these super weapons and... When she meets up with the uh, invading, <laughs> like the invading navy, uh, because they want to recover these super weapons because they can't have a rogue agent with them, she instead of wiping out the navy using this weapon, she instead destroys all six versions of this weapon that she has, and she apparently gets on the phone with the empress of this this empire who's conquered her territory. And she says, listen, I know what you were trying to do. You're, you've got all this honor. You're a soldier, blah, 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 blah. So instead, I'm going to make you the Duchess of Earth. So don't give away the ending. Because what I've noticed about your book talks, because I'm, I'm starting to watch them. Oh, wow. You're giving away... Because they're shorter now, huh? <laughs> I'm watching current. So, uh, I, told, I, told you, I told you at which point this became spoilers. Yes, yeah, so uh, you know it's it's so you spoilers. Stop click away. Spoiling it. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? <laughs> I have my label maker out. I'm gonna start labeling our mics. <laughs> because yeah, you bite I don't want yours. your mouth all over mine. You bite yours like you bite the pillow. <laughs> you gotta try. But anyway, so. Stop giving away the ending, bro. He didn't give away Why the ending yet. Why are they going to want to go and read the book if they already know what the book so says is all about? Is not, this is the first book in a series. So you're so you're not going to give away the rest in of the book. a nine-book series. So you're not going to give away the rest of the book no, stuff. Okay, no. so you're trying to get people I'm drawn saying, into it's the... It's the grab. Them, I told them yeah, where we went the in the spoiler teaser. territory, and I told them, hey, this is the real. this was the hook for me. This ah. part of it was the hook for me. Okay, All I right? got you. I need you to pay attention. You don't watch the podcast. And you don't pay attention during the podcast now. Starting to. Listening to it. Starting to. My <laughs> uncle has listened listening to more to podcasts than you. And he's not on the podcast. He'd be an I've always, you know what though? I've always, so I've, I've been in over 20 different films and it's really hard for me to even watch those films. Like I don't watch the things that I'm in. 
I mean, you should always uh, review what you're in. Absolutely, I agree 100. percent I just don't like. You agree, what but you're I not behind like it. On listen to. And that, what and that's you're what in. I started doing. Is I started listening to it. But I even hate my voice. My voice is ugly as I am, physically. I right? mean, me and Mike both said that. I was like, I don't know. We started. He's like, <sighs> I get really annoyed in my own voice, yeah. and I was like, I've always felt that way. But at the end of the day, we're talking about stuff across the board, and it's the subjects more than your voice. Yeah. But anyway, we need to take an intermission. No, we do need to take an is intermission. it intermission already? Woo. Yeah. Once he pulls his mic in, we'll. <clears throat> you didn't turn around the little flumer flamers. But hey, girl, flickety. we're back. Hey, flickety, did you flickety. want to get up and turn around the flumer flamers? I'll turn around the flumer flamers. I mean, did you? I mean, I don't care about I them. I was blasting my eye. Off. Oh. What'd you do that for? It's spicy. <laughs> oh, I see. You slapped his flat ass and not my fucking Actually, juicy ass. Is... <laughs> Bro. Dude, do, do we want to do some seat. booty comparisons? <laughs> hey, so there's this. Okay, have you have you ever seen those little bicycles? The, the ones that have the little fan as the front wheel? Hey, hey, Kel, we're going to need you to squeeze both our asses. By the way, uh, angels envy thanks, in your eye. I'm... Heaven's drawn your eye does not feel good. But uh, you we, should not we drink a, it we, through your eye. We need a neutral party. Yeah, we need a neutral party, and you're the Navy, so. Mm -hmm. Whose butt's better, mine or his? Who's more flat, me or him? Who's. Actually, I think yours is flatter. Oh, you have boy. more of a country ass. No, it's the pants, bro. Well, maybe you should get. Do you want me to take my pants off? Get, no. Get some cinch. Some cinch jeans. <laughs> so, I don't even know what that is. I don't there's know some, what that is. There's some, there's some fancy kicker jeans. But you know, we finished book talk and you know, Mike was Did very finish, adamant though? enough that Mike was adamant enough that it was like, I called dibs on the first topic. So, Mike, first topic, your go. I was. So, I, I had an event happen. All right, dibs are over. All right, my turn. Okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, keeper. I was Mike, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Mike. Oh. See, look at that ass. It's, it's just as flat as his back. Can you touch his butt He's now like so we can know? He's like a carpenter's dream. No, can you actually <laughs> flat and touch easy his nail. butt? Like, <laughs> no, I don't. Can we compare butts? Hold on, you want to smack that ass? The same way you did mine. Hold on, you got to get out of my way. We, we got to know who's this. He's got to tell He's a wow. No, but who's, <laughs> who, whose booty is thicker? Bend over, let me stop yours now. All right, well, I, you're I gotta the know, professional. I got to know. Cause that... No, yours is yours has more muscle. Thank you. We weren't asking yours for is muscle. Flabby. Okay, but whose is bigger is what the question was. His. Okay. He's I got to work on it. He's literally Remember, got some more. I got to work on my booty hole. Let me know if you need help. That no, was the gayest it. thing we'll I think I've ever done. <laughs> if I bleach my butthole more. What are you talking about? You're Navy. Yeah. Okay. But topic, <laughs> he called dibs. We're going into it after our sidebar. I, Capitan. He did call dibs, so he wins. Uh, tangent. <laughs> um, so I had an event happen this week. I, uh, I was coming up 16 and I came across a wreck. Um, I was like the second person there when did this happen today earlier this week wednesday wednesday, wednesday. When, was it wednesday yeah it was wednesday because you were at uh, i was at a small group yeah um and so <laughs> you know um run up to the v. one vehicle was turned over on on its top flipped over uh and, and i was like okay well i'm not gonna be able to get to that person quickly the other one they already had the door open so i'm like I'll get to this person. Administrated the first person you come to. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, run up. Guy fish is kicking the door open. Managed to get him out. I've got my uh, first aid kit. By the way, first thing, lessons learned. Remember where your fucking first aid kit is in your vehicle. Know where your first aid kit is. Because Make I... sure your stuff is kosher and up to code for you. Don't have yeah. dull scissors. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. -mm. That did you have me, dull scissors? No, that no. was not me. Oh, was, did you no. have dull scissors? Let, let me, oh, no. Let me finish. No, let he's me going finish. to finish, but there's things you need to upkeep in your own mm -hmm. first aid kit. So he's and getting in Texas, into that. scissors go dull very fast. Well, he's getting into this. So we, we get the guy out, 
He's got a head, an, an obvious head wound head bleeding injury. all over the place. Get some gauze out of the first aid kit. Apply, apply to the wound. Me and the other guys start assessing for more injuries. You know, I'm talking to the guy. He's a pastor. You know, at uh, at a state hospital. State hospital pastor. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't remember his name. Sorry. I I I just I was not focused on his name. Right. I was focused on keeping him talking and um, assessing in, these injuries. Questions, assessing, but you honestly I couldn't don't give his really name care. out here anyway. Oh, no, I no, but I it, was commenting it, yeah. that I couldn't remember his name. It's one of those I'm asking the questions not to care, well, but to keep you cognizant. Well, you care, but it's hey, no, I'm, no, I don't care. If I'm administering first aid, I could care less if you're a Betty, if you're a Joe, if you're a John, if you're a Sally. I am asking I, you this only to keep you cognizant, keep your right. brain active enough. So when the people that do the job come do this. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm still with the guy and the other folks have gone off to the other vehicle because first responders have shown up. Um, and they're over at the other vehicle. A couple minutes, around. by the way, I think you said, yeah, it was, it was a short, it was a short run. First responders had it. They were on top of it. And we've heard, at least around here and around us, it's about a 15, 20 minute wait. And when I asked with you on the phone, I was like, well, how long till EMS showed up first responders? And you're like, Oh, it was, it was a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. So one it that was relatively fast, one that tells me either a, they actually showed up reasonable time or B you were so caught up in the moment as administering aid, but you weren't that gone when I talked to you. Yeah. That I was like, okay, it actually probably was A versus B. Yeah, I mean, I didn't feel like like I was out of like I didn't feel like I was in like you weren't out of shock. It. I know the adrenaline rush hit later, which is most yeah. military people. Yeah, I mean, guaranteed. Obviously, the adrenaline rush hit. Guaranteed. By the time you got out of your truck with your first aid kit, started applying gauze and doing all that stuff, and then checking for other three to five injuries, minutes was at least five minutes. Three yeah. to five minutes, yeah. The amount of time that came after that is, you know, but in the country for for first responder to show up, was it was it PD or was it EMS? So PD, PD was there, like, first, and then, you know, firefighters were there, and then EMS was there right after the firefighters. Okay. I felt bad for the guy because I'm pretty sure he was dealing with, like, a community med kit. Because mm. he went to go cut the guy's shirts, and he pulled the pulled the fucking trauma shears out, and he went to to chop Which the is shirt. Where my is this came a out. firefighter? No, this was a. I, it might have been a firefighter. It might have been EMS, right? Okay. Um, and he went to chop, and he was like, "Fucking." Realistically, dull now he could be either be. His dull trauma scissors failed. Well, That's they were crazy. Dull. So it either could have been a firefighter or EMS attached to cops because in texas alone we have both firefighters dual hatting and cops dual hatting but your primary yeah. isn't cop or firefighter right you, you you have firefighter paramedics or pd paramedics as well yeah so um, he bitched about his trauma shears being dull and i was like grabbing my first aid kit those trauma shears right there and some other pedestrian who had come by grabbed them out of my aid yeah. kit because you know, and I'm going to thank my buddy Steven because he was the one who told me to put trauma shears in my egg kit. Yep. Sure I have enough, trauma shears in mine. Came in and they're not handy. expensive. No, I they're have, cheap. I've, I've, so two things that aren't in a normal first aid kit, trauma shears and clamps. Yep. I'm not even saying not. And, well, tourniquets. Tourniquets I have a are, tourniquet are in, in my most. Bike. If you buy a first aid kit without a, a at least one tourniquet, I will always say buy an extra. Mm -hmm. But at least one tourniquet. Don't buy that first aid kit. And splints. I won't. I will not buy. Well, yeah, splints. Even then, you can buy popsicle sticks and put them in there. Yeah. I and mean, this but, is something I mean, we like definitely fingers. want to touch on. Not even fingers. No. You can. I have personally used popsicle sticks for legs and ankles, like your joints specifically. You're going to have to show me how to do that. You can put it there. And if you wrap it properly, if you wrap it properly, it's not going to completely fix the issue, but they can walk on it'll, it. It'll add some stabilization to Enough it. Enough stabilization, especially downrange. Yeah. It's like, it's going to work. It'll get you to a point where I can care about you more. It's still going to hurt like Oh, crazy. it's going to hurt. I mean, but 
downrange at least is like right. I'm dealing with shit, you're dealing with shit. I'm shooting downrange and yeah. I'm self aid buddy care fixing you. That you know, I a mean, we used to stick the the sixteen inch ones we are used good to, enough. There's a there's a company out here in the hill country and oh, there's I, one. I um, gotta figure out who it is. Relic, because, <laughs> relic yeah. got it. It's you, um, you buy the bag for like four hundred fifty, five hundred dollars. It's, it's a five hundred dollar bag, but you don't buy it. So what you do is you push your nope, you push your story out. It's like, hey, this is what I'm doing, and technically you can pay for your own bag. So technically you can buy it, but you need about five hundred dollars, and it's it pretty much goes on um, uh, whatever site it is. I'm trying to push my business. I'm trying to push this object. Kickstarter. It's pretty much a Kickstarter. Okay. You throw it out there and people throw money at it and you share it across the board and you have so long to make it come to fruition. I gotcha. So it it's happened a, with Relic, but yeah. they went to, at the time, HBC, the church. They started okay. going there. They're working with, um, they actually had a couple cars renovated by um, the business that's up the road from here. Uh, I think it's Muscle Rod Shop. Really good so, shot. So, so what's special about the bag? So when it you has, use a product in it and you let them know about what you, you give them an itemized list of what you They'll used, replace it. They replace it for free. But what's the other thing that's important about the bag? So it has uh, 187, 100, 180 something items yep. in there for first aid care. One and of the most important things about bag. the bag is that it comes with an oxygen tank. Does it? Yes. Yes, this yes, one does, does come with an oxygen tank. That was part tank. of the, the, because I remember talking to Relic And a regulator? Yeah. It, yes. It, 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 and it, it, you have to get it retested every two years because it just, it goes out. Absolutely. It was one of the big things for the folks is that because there was something that happened and if there had been an oxygen tank available, oh, yeah, it would have yeah. changed because the outcome. Yeah, in that I remember specific that. case. He hadn't gotten tested in a couple of years because he lived outside of Houston in Angleton. He called it Analton, Texas. Mm -hmm. And um, he moved over here to San Antonio, living with me at the time. And he had this bag. And the reason we installed his sissy bar was so he could have the bag yeah. there. And, you know, I, I'm going to say this. By like... the way, Relic made these names. He is about to start his own business. Nice. For woodworking. Good. It's good. Uh, me and Mike had both gave him a couple of tools, and he's gonna start pushing woodworking. So when he officially pushes his shop out there, we're gonna start broadcasting because yeah, absolutely. he does good work. I love his work. I have a camping chair that's completely wood. It's two different points you put in, and it's comfortable. And it is comfortable for camping. I mean, I have my rocking chairs that I like just mm -hmm. as much, but it definitely meets. Of value, but let's take this back down to the first aid incident. That I do want well, to jump back to the first aid. The... Can I go ahead? Can go. I say something uh, first? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Pearl, 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 oh, stop, oh, stop, oh, Pearl, stop. Oh, nope, nope, we lost Kel. Camera's gone. All right, you guys. So I'll look at the middle camera here. What? Are... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Were, were you gonna say no, something? No, yes, I want to say something. So. I, I, my personal belief is that there needs to be a lot more people out there that are less selfish and, and, and more community driven, like, like Listen, veterans. In, in this instance, I will say that there was a bevy of people going out there. Okay. I, those I, are I country wanna, folk though. No, were, I wanted to touch on this just as much as city he does. folk don't no, give Go fuck. Mike, go Mike. And then I'll say my piece. I, I will say, I, I saw, like, I obviously, I pulled my truck over. I saw that this incident wasn't taken care of. I got out. I tracked down my glass breaker mm -hmm. and uh, seat belt cutter in case I had to bust a window yep. open in the first aid kit, right? Got him out. Immediately walked over. There were other folks over there, obviously, on the phone calling 911. These are obviously folks who don't know what to, what do, to do in right. this yep. situation. But if you hadn't come over. There were already, I think there were two guys over there already. And trying to get this gentleman out. That's what I want to touch on. Being in military city, that's that's what San Antonio is called for as long as I've been here at least. Yeah. It's like being around enough first responders, enough military, enough retirees that, okay, no one's here. 
okay, well, I at least have something. I at least have knowledge. If I don't have the first aid kit, I at least have knowledge. There's a, re- there's a reason I keep a first aid kit in my vehicle, and it's because of incidents like this. Now, right. I will say something about my interactions with that first aid kit. I was not as familiar with the first aid kit as I should have been. Right? I have a, a brand new first aid kit in my Forerunner. I am not familiar with it at all because I haven't even opened it now, yet. Now, I will thank <laughs> him because he did a review of my first aid kit, and he was like, you need to pull all this stuff out of the bags because it was still in the bag. So I did that, and that helped out. And, I, and my first aid kit's labeled. And it's got labels on it, and that helped out because I didn't know where shit was. And so I was like, labels for an EMS across the board help because you yeah. don't know my bag. Because yeah, right. the way I have, the way I always had my kit downrange was different than the way everyone else. I want all my dangerous stuff on the right. Why? Because I can shoot left-handed. I'm going downrange. I don't care if it hits target. I care if it makes you hide. It makes yep. you cubby. So. I don't care if I'm just throwing hate till someone else can come. Yeah. I'm not looking while I'm shooting anyway. And I want my primary hand, my right hand, to be able to grab my shears, my tourniquet, my gauze, my tape. I want all this right here that I know I have to use and I can use my mouth. And right. I'll, I'll rip it open. And is it sanitary? No, but I'm taking care of issues. Oh, no. I mean, does it? I mean, they can fight infection when they get to the hospital. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's about uh, saving their you're life. Either in the dead very or moment. you're not. Another thing when you're downrange, I mean, at least I had gloves inside my kit. I didn't think to put on gloves. Exactly. In the moment, your adrenaline is rushing so much, you don't think about putting on gloves. And so, so what happened is, I'm I'm holding the guy, I'm talking to the guy, and the EMS shows up, and the first thing he does is he hands me gloves and says, "Hey, put those on." I was in, immediately. I was sitting there going, "I had gloves." Before you go into that, I want to touch on this uh, shock. We talked about dealing with shock. If they have high traumatic top shoes, shock, can you lift up your boots? So boots specifically. Let me see it. So if you're laying down, boots, anything at least ankle high, hands down, can go right here on both sides of the head, and it keeps the head stable. That helps with shock and, of course, lifting up your legs. And if it's a car wreck, it helps to keep the neck from moving, which is a big right. deal because you don't know if there is some kind of break. And it slows the heart rate. So that, that was the biggest thing that I talked to you after yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, and you're like, I fact, didn't know that. I had never heard of this before. It was I like, never heard of take this. off their shoes. And even if they have Converse, Converse will still work, but you have to take off their socks and stuff their socks in their shoes. It's not great, but it works enough till they can at least stabilize the patient. And, you know, as I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm talking to the guy, he's mentioning he's got groin pain. He's mentioning that he's got, there's something wrong with his foot. He's mentioning that there's something wrong with his side. And obviously I know about the seat head belt, bone. Seat belt issue. Well, and, I, and, and the other thing he says is he hurts all over. He hurts all over. That's going to happen. Right, right. right. Exactly. And so when the EMS shows up, everyone's asking him questions. And in, instead of him responding, I'm going, he's got groin pain. He's got, you know, he, this right. is where his pain points are. Because he's in some weird loop, right? He's in so, shock. Yeah. So when, if, if, you, if you arrive on scene before first responders are, you're actually the first responder. So your job is to gather information. What, is, what, is, what are his vitals? What is his pulse? What is his blood pressure? What are his ailments? What what is what are his which, injuries? Which I male female age. Name. I am not good enough to get pulse and blood pressure just off this. So this happened. Like I can't. Sp- uh, I can't remember how to do. Even right now, I couldn't tell you what my own. So fifty. Pulse was. You look at your Similar, watch. Yeah, fifteen, 15 seconds, seconds times four. So and it's a quick grab. It's very much so realistically this or this. What needed to be in my kit. Would be like a nine line. So my yeah. my heart rate should That's be ninety two. That's what needs to be in my kit is a nine line, which says, "Hey, pul- get pulse. You get pulse by this." I'm realistically looking for a heart rate with today's populace of eighty to one ten. That is a average but, heart rate. But realistically, what this all buckles down into is what I immediately talked to you. I had actually yeah. talked to you beforehand. Yeah, about earlier this, this week. Or um, before this happened, 
I wanted, I told him I wanted to because we do power tools all this all the time we on our other channel and everything. Safety and first I was aid like, kit. I want to not safety. I want to me and him and his wife if she was available and Kel if you're available. I wanted us to sit down and do a first aid refresher. Yeah, because what did, what did you do in the military? You did first was, aid, buddy care, refreshers, right? Yeah, I mean, I was also an EMT, so right, right. but but. Like I was a, I was certified combat lifesaver, right? So would it, but I need that refresher. It's been so many years removed. Right. So I need to, I need the refresher. So training at least. Absolutely. Annually. Because I mean, even, even then, like there's, there's always advancements in medicine and like the, the, I wouldn't even push the advancements in medicine. I would just say it's just, it's across the board. There's been enough changes that. Yeah. Even if you are, I don't care if you're 1980s EMS certified, you can still save a life. You, yes. And, no, you and can't tell me you can't. You, you can. The, so, and the only but, reason I go down this is because over the past 10, 15 years, what have we heard? Eggs are bad. Eggs are good. Eggs are bad. Eggs are good. This is just what we're intaking. Right. But it was like, ignore, milk is good. Milk is bad. Milk is good. Milk is bad. Let's ignore all the changes and everything for a second, gentlemen. I mean, there's... And okay, if well, you well, have the same 1980s EMS experience, if you can save a life still... That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about practice. There are laws... Do you, do you go to the range? Fuck no. You know why? <laughs> I ain't paying those prices. Should you go to the range? It's been a couple months. Should you? Yeah, absolutely. Should you go to the range? Should I go to Should I go to your house and set up a target? Absolutely. Do Do you carry? Should you go to the range? Yes, yes. absolutely. Once a month. Absolutely. Once a month. The same thing could be said for first aid. Oh yeah. You Hands should down. train whatever you expect to use. Right, and that's that's also why they have. They have laws, right? Because my my certification has been expired since 2008. But they have laws to protect individuals like you, you and me. Private if citizens, I pull up, yeah. If I pull up to an accident and, and somebody's had a heart attack or some kind of cardiac event and they're not breathing and I start doing CPR, but I break their sternum because I push too hard and that person dies because I've shoved their sternum into their heart, I am. I can literally be sued because I killed that person. Did you know actually this changed but, in 2019? But I can now not, I am now defended by the law, yes. whatever yep. it is, because, because I can also be sued because I didn't stop and render aid. Yeah. Yep. So because I can now be sued for not stopping to render aid, I am now protected under that same law that if I use too much force and break the sternum, yeah. And shove that sternum into their heart, and they end up dying anyway. Whether it's a it's a new I'm cause, that was that I can't yeah. be I can't but, be sued. But before we get close to intermission, I did want to thank the the Bandera officers, and I wanted to thank the Bandera firefighters and the Bandera EMS because y'all showed up. They showed up were, in force. It sounds y'all like y'all were professional. Yep, y'all y'all had it under control. Um. I know that I I had an issue because one of the pedestrians said that the person in the other car was DOA. I did not assess that so, myself. Yeah. I could not because I I was the primary. At so this when point I when I looked person. when you talked to me after we prayed for the individuals because you called me at small group we prayed for both of them. Thank you by the way for praying them because I was praying for them myself and it it was there was a there was a enough peace there. Like there was a peace with what was going on. And when I looked at the news article, it was one was in critical and one, they didn't succumb to injuries, but they're dealing with the injuries of the individual. I was like, okay. So that tells me two individuals, but I, I had this peace with it. That was just like, okay, they're at the proper place. They're where they need to be. A lot of people actually showed up in force and, dealt with what needed to be dealt with by the time i had the first gentleman loaded onto the um onto the, the wagon the truck yeah there was a bevy of folks trying to get the other one out of the vehicle i mean that that's good i do love living around military city because we have a a plethora of people that 
no self aid body care. Yeah, because military city. I, I had I had there were folks coming up. There was like two of them who came up and it was like, "Hey, I'm trained EMS. I'm just a pedestrian. I'm you let know, me how assist. Can I help? How yep. can I help? Yep. And I'm just sitting there holding the guy's head, head keeping him sure stable, that, making sure that he doesn't move because this is what the EMS wants from it because. At this point, I am I am disassociated. I am second, all and I am doing I'm is listening whatever to what he says. To do. Yep. You know what I will say though is is the number of accidents that I have stopped at to render aid to somebody with the plethora of hospitals that we have in San Antonio. Almost every time I stop and render aid, there's a nurse that stops. Good, and and that says something about our. Well, so I, our, I will totally agree people on this. Here in town. So my mom's looking at moving down here. Hell yeah, let's go! She's not looking. She is going to move down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah! Come and on! We'll at least have my I mom. support this. We'll Come on, Chief! We'll have my mom or my dad on the podcast Mama at least Dykes, once. get down here. Doctor, She's going to be like, I've Dr. seen it. Dr. Cammy. <laughs> Dr. Dyke. You may not be my doctor, but you're still Dr. Mom to me. <laughs> you're doctor of nutrition, right? <laughs> uh, she... Oh, Everything she's been dealing with, but no, she's she stopped at a couple wrecks, and she was like, "Oh, well, this, this, this," and she technically is the highest ranking member here. And then EMS shows up, and I love her heart in this. It was like, "Here you go. What do you need from me?" It's like, "I'm licensed for all these surgical everything, but what do you need as the EMS, as the number one? This yeah. is your job. How can I help you?" And we have that in San Antonio, in the greater San Antonio area that I love. Absolutely. It's awesome. Well, we got to take a piss break. We do. But we do need to take a break. Yeah, we're going to take a quick intermission. Oh, we're good now. Mm. I blame Keeper. Always. <laughs> it's okay. We labeled mics now. Uh, hey, so... What were we talking about? Big I am Papa. way too sober. No, what I wanted to touch on was... Issue for a day? Nope, not issue for a day. We got a duck that Pearl's touching on. That's uh, more important than my conversation. Mm. No one loves you. Totally straddled Potato's that Potato's like, what the f*** are you doing with my duck? I mean, it was for him, and he's touched it maybe once, potato, so... Potato, potato! Bummer. You're about to drop it. I love potatoes. So, what I wanted to touch on was... Which sucks we don't have our cop buddy here. Hey, don't don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. I don't want to see that look. Hey, that Sony camera, I remember what we were talking about. That Sony camera was fucking amazing. It did, was you see how, did you see how many knobs there it were on it? It was sexy, bro. Oh my god, the twist on I would nipples. fuck that camera. That's not saying much. I mean... You, you'll fuck a lot of things. I've got standards. Lower standards. Hey, he'll hey. only do it if it's on a tripod, so it has legs. Listen, all <laughs> well, I know, well, hands down, I will totally fuck a paraplegic because they can't run. Hey, but they can I've roll always, and roll and roll. I've and... always wanted to fuck a deaf person yeah. to experience the sound. The sound, yeah. <laughs> wow. So we had an airman. Um, oh shit! Yeah. Uh, the same Pearl, one. No. Why Pearl, you gotta ruin Pearl, our fun time? Pearl, stop. Um, do we have all of us in here? Yeah, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. That's We're all me. In. Wave your hand. Uh. Yep, you're there. <laughs> yep. He's here. We had we had our furry co-host issue. It's fine. We're good. Why does she keep going under the tripods? Because she sees Bo Duke go under there, and she's like, <laughs> "I'm just as tiny. You're a female. You're feminine, but you are not that tiny." Honestly, mm. we've had such a great like. High energy podcast. I really don't want to talk about the center. Like, this is kind of like, this is such a no. I want to downer. talk on it because it's the same as the Acorn Cop. Yeah, and is realistically, it, it is. It's the same. It, no, it's it's the same precinct. Like, oh. it is. yeah, no, it's the same precinct as the Acorn Cop. Yep. So I want to touch the on Iron it. Man got shot though. Oh, but I, I want to touch okay. on specifically DOD wise. Because he is a very high speed airman in the sense of he's doing a mission for pretty much air combat command. He's part of an airlift squadron. But the biggest issue, and I could see why civil rights came into all of this. Yeah. Because 
when he, because they banged on the door, he's on FaceTime with his side piece, his girlfriend, whatever yeah, it, it, it is. It, he's on. He's on with his girl, and they banged on the door, and he's like. He looks out the he window. He looks out the window, and there's and he no don't one. See nothing. Nobody said anything. And so he does what any of us would was have he done. swatted? He was swatted. So You've got to be. He grabbed his reason. gun. And what? the Hold best. On. Go ahead. What swatting? Swatting is like. It's where somebody calls in a fake. Uh, they call into the police a fake issue, uh, like bomb, like, like you're threatening to. To go and do something, do harm I, to somebody, or something like that. I think it would like be that. swatting if the the actual announcement that came out if, wasn't. If, for instance, oh, we hit the wrong house. Yeah, but they're not gonna. They're not going to. Well, no, admit agreed. That. Agreed. They're not going to actually admit it. But somehow, but it's not that they're within the wrong eight house, hours. In I, eight hours, they pushed the cop on administrative leave because the cop was wrong, and the whole administration knew they were wrong. But here's the thing. So what swatting is, is I'm at my house and I call on a cell phone or pay phone or whatever. And I say, oh, my God. Keep her, uh, keep her threatened to, to come over and kill me. And, you know, he, he said this X, Y and Z. It wouldn't be and, the first time. <laughs> and, and so then, you know, Bear County might come over and kick his door in and put him down on the ground, rifles to his head, and arrest him until they figure out the facts of the case. In the meantime, if he does anything out of the ordinary or that could to, could spook the cop, cop can fire. They have full right to shoot him. Technically. But cops are using this, abusing this ability or authority, and they're, they're killing young, innocent black individuals. Well, it's not even uh, just, not black, just individuals. black individuals. It's anyone other than white. Okay. It's so realistically where it's been in the past of, but, but going, going back to this airman, they they banged on the door. He checked the window. There was he no did, one. He did what any of us would have done, and he went and grabbed his pistol. Well, first, he checked the scene. He checked the scene. There was no one outside. He was like, I'm going to grab my, my sidearm. And he's still talking to his girlfriend or his girl. Yeah. In the video that's on Reddit, was it holstered? No, he was holding his hand. Yeah, it was. It wasn't even pointing it up. Two seconds. We're talking about two seconds on the video footage from the cop feed. Two seconds. They gunned him down dirty. Yeah, like Trayvon Martin had multiple. I think he, this airman, no. has more than more than Trayvon Martin. Yeah. They put him down with haste. Yeah. I mean, and then they're like, "Oh, we it's got the, wrong, the house. wrong house." So, listen, cops, you have to stop getting the wrong fucking house. It's not even the wrong fucking house. It look, oh my god, touch it. Let's go. All the conspiracy, all the conspiracy theorists are gonna get out here and they're gonna jump your shit, and and rightfully so because this is happening way too much. It isn't a coinky dink that they're hitting the wrong house every time well that is what they're that is the go-to lingo of oh i fucked up well and how how just, often how often are cops going out and having to swap places and it's uh, happening okay, less so, frequently so they're they're going out and they're swatting places and then they're like how often are they swatting places as opposed to how often are they swatting places and getting the wrong house i would say that they're they're there are institutions that are making cops as a whole look like shit. Absolutely. How many cops are in the United States? How are they? Too many. They're making them look like shit. <laughs> Absolutely. I, well, I mean, honestly it's... wouldn't say too many. I'd say too less. There are we two... have too few cops. I, f- I feel like there's and too few pu- people policing. And who's policing the police? Less important than policing, there's too little peaceful prosecuting that's correct yep. gentlemen the cops are fucked because it doesn't matter whether or not they bring someone they're in they're tied to a judicial they're not system going to be fucking prosecuted the they're cops going to be aren't. Bro- so no, specifically no. bear county per person i mean how many times well we... no bear county there's six specific 
There's one the cop last for two every years? six people. No, right now, one oh, cop yeah, for yeah. every six people. But how many times have we heard in the last two years of a P- of a BCSO off, Oh, we've like, heard this getting from fucking arrested from for lieutenants. domestic of violence or for drunk driving or something stupid. So this was brought up from one of our mutual friends when because HBC. We're not shit. Um, it's it's public knowledge. Jeff Enoch brought up mm. against one of the cops that were there. His in charge lieutenant. And there's more complaints than there are compliments for this individual. And she's still in charge. It was like, okay, so what do we got to do to fix this? Yeah. Why, why is the system so broken that she can do whatever the fuck she wants and still Let's, oh, mess you want to, okay, so. Because we've know, talked about VA, but this is on the same aspect right, of it. So I got a welfare check, right? This, this last Wednesday. Welfare tax. Welfare tax on top of it, right? Yeah, you got so, taxed on your welfare check. This somehow is supposed to be this is supposed to make you through that shouldn't be taxed, but we tax it and then we're going to tax what you spend it on, right? Hey so guys, I, it's only a matter of time before they start taxing veteran disability. Yeah, I, I <sighs> yeah, so you know, here's the thing I got, I, I made a comment that was taken the wrong way. Uh, this Spinner last swallow? Wednesday, yeah. Do you spit? swallow? I thought so. Save um, it. Save it. You gotta put that shit in your belly, bro. It's the protein. It's the protein flavor saver. I mean, if it lands in my beard, it's just it just helps. It makes it. It's all that wet juice Anyways, that just lives there. So uh, I got a welfare check. Cops show up to my door, wanting to know if I'm gonna kill myself. And I'm like, what the fuck? This shit on. <laughs> And it turns out that the VA actually has a, uh, uh, what do they call it? Suicide prevention team. Like, are you kidding me? And you called me 20 minutes after, like, I supposedly made a comment. But so, anyway, so, so about, point, about police. You can't get mad so about the cop, that, though. The co- okay, so what I want to say is the cop that showed up was actually a pretty decent cop, right? I came out my door and was like, Fuck y'all, I ain't going with you. Like I ain't, Yeah, you you were just fucking around. Right. And and I turned back in and he goes, Okay, I don't care. And I was like, wait, hold up, what? <laughs> and and like there was a cool little banter there, right? And there the cop the cop that was actually driving the car was like three times my size, could easily like rip my gate down and like <laughs> for me and like <laughs> this other mutual person we know. But it was what I wanted to say is that was a good cop, right? Yeah. And and it sucks that there are there are bad apples in every organization. I don't care what organization you are a part of, there are bad apples. But and sometimes but the whole barrel is bad. This is what we were talking about with our friend Eddie before is, yep. when he was on, is that they would benefit from extended training. Extended training and do you, do you know what else I I saw on a recent podcast that they were talking about that I absolutely agreed with? That's good. Is jujitsu training actually hand to hand combat? How to defend myself? Real locks and holds. Yep. Well, and learning how to crawl. Well, well, not because even. Yeah. Here's the thing: is like a person who is a hundred pounds less than you with the proper training could lock. Your ass down. And you're done. And you're done. And you're not going nowhere. And you don't have to default to your weapon. You don't have to default to your taser because they have the ability in close quarters to lock your ass down because they have the proper training. Until you do a chokehold and then that person dies because you... Okay. If we're going to talk about that, let's first talk about the fact that that wasn't a proper chokehold. Let's touch on it, though. Yep. Let's talk about the fact that you cannot choke someone out by putting your knee into the back of their neck. Right. That is not a proper chokehold. That's not that's not a choke in any way, shape, or form. No, I'm sorry a... if my knee or anything is not on your trachea. Right. It is not going to choke you out. There were other extenuating circumstances there. Yep. Such as fentanyl. There was yeah. There was fentanyl. There was other drugs. There were in other the drugs system. available. Also, and man, we're going contentious here. Yeah, are I'm you going saying all, Freeman was I'm on drugs that day? Let's stop propping up pieces of shit to bash on the system. Yep. 
Well, so what, what I what I really want to say is, it, <laughs> and I said that again, what I really wanted to say was almost this, okay? It was almost. What this cop told me, he goes, man, I am, I'm not a veteran. And, and I, I hear what, what you're going through, and I've heard from all the other sources before I even got here what you're going through. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you veterans have to go through the bullshit you go through. And he literally said, this is, <laughs> I couldn't believe this came out of his mouth. He goes, I'm not supposed to talk political shit, but I, I you know, you guys get treated worse than illegally. And it's such a shame that y'all are treated that way. Can right, I say time out, actually? Time out. Time out. We got external right now. Up in the motor <laughs> as it's turning, <laughs> the vibration of, of, of motor spinning. <laughs> uh, there's always something. Uh, some kinky shit on board on board a ship. So you know we're we're getting to a close for the night. We are. We yeah, unless talk about unless Mike had something, he was getting ready to. Go ahead, go. No, it's your turn. King for an issue. King for an issue! Let's go! So, there's two issues I talked about. I haven't pulled up on my phone because... Border Patrol. It was border security and political hey, corruption. Hey, October! Wait, How wait. you doing? Border... <laughs> and you can tell Mike doesn't want to talk about this. <laughs> no, she just looks so adorable. I just oh. wanted to fucking call her over, bro. So, how do we fix the border security and political corruption connected to our border specifically. Well, if your only answer is we can't, then congratulations, you just touched on two seconds of King for an issue. How do we fix it though? If you just say we can't, that proves we have an issue we need to talk about. I mean, all the, all the, I'll take the first shot at it. Okay. I mean, Mike, are you so good with that it, one? It's a, it's a political issue too. We're talking about border security and the political corruption, whatever that of entails for you. Border security? Of border security. Fix that issue wholeheartedly. There's no wrong answer. It's just it's just us good old boys talking. We I got mean, Navy, Army, and Air Force. Let's go. As Mike would say, it's such a complex question with so many complex answers. Well, well no, that is absolutely right, and I want to hammer this home for every single issue we do, because... Are you about to we, hump my leg? When we are dealing with a complex issue, it does require a complex answer. And, I mean, there's not, there's not, one, there's not one solution to but, this problem. But give your best solution that will give us the potential best outcome. Fix for it the current- based off you what you can what you currently perceive as being the best outcome i mean you got to figure out who spits or swallows first of all of course navy right that's that's a pretty important question that we already answered. we already figured out who had the nicest ass okay so that's all that matters it okay. wasn't me i mean it didn't it didn't make no sense for me uh, i didn't care um but really the political corruption for border security is who can get the, the biggest dollar in their pocket, really, I, what I think it boils down to. Not only that, but politicians need to stop using border security to, as, a, as a speaking point on statistics of, for, for election. I mean, Governor Greg Abbott is constantly, well, we're doing this on the border. And, you know, who gives a fuck? No, you're not. Stop lying to the public. You know, when we actually start seeing results, that's when we'll start believing that this is what's really happening. Um, so first thing is politicians need to stop lying because we're not that stupid. Uh, secondly, um, we, we need to have a more open approach to um, individuals crossing the border. Um, we need to stop detaining individuals that are crossing the border. If we allow them to cross into the United States, there is absolutely no reason why they should be detained while their paperwork is pushed through. Put their ass to work. 
make them start being a uh a uh what is it called a tax paying citizen right make make them be a good investment into the united states right instead of well for the first year they have to be adopted by a family and and then uh through that adoption then they you know have to find work and you know they can't really make so much money and you know, uh, there's so okay. many fucking stipulations but, but where's the solution yeah we need we need to know your fix specifically you're you're pointing out all you're the pointing problems. out the issues where's we, we the know fix? what the issues are but well, i was the... giving solutions to the problem right because you, you, they need to be viable sources to our society but what is right? what is the fix <laughs> what is the fix for border security in the political corruption within it it's a complex Look, issue. If you build a wall, they're gonna build. They're they're gonna jump it, or they're gonna dig a hole under it. No, no, no. no. Right. I, I mean, that's the reality. So, what's the solution? What is your solution for this? I'm not. I'm not saying it's a hundred percent foolproof. There's no failure. You know what? Honestly, instead of spending billions of dollars on building walls, spend billions of dollars on hiring legit individuals. To watch over them. Mm. Get better uh, aerial equipment, cameras, infrared, uh, visibility technology, vehicles, more personnel, and, and pay those individuals what they're worth so that they don't have any reason to take payment, uh, dirty money. So your um, solution is hire the proper people to make sure we correctly. watch over what's going on. Give them the right equipment. Absolutely. I think if you take care of your border uh, patrol uh, division and your National Guards, if you take good care of them, they're going to take good care and pride in, in their job, and they're going to protect our borders better than anything else. Okay. I, I think we've touched on it with you. Mike, what's your standpoint? So, I, I do think that you stated the correct thing in some ways and that, you know, supporting the Border Patrol. I don't think it's that the wrong people are there. I think that they're just not empowered correctly. There's not enough of them either. Well, yes and no. There are enough of them if you empower them correctly. Do you know how you empower them correctly? Fucking, you try and cross my border, I shoot your ass. I am sorry but this is my border. We have legal means for you to cross my border. If you try to cross my border, I am authorizing Border Patrol to shoot you. Well, Texas now has, so in Texas, we now have stand your ground. So We've stand, had that. So, We've had that. Okay, so ranchers can now stand their ground and shoot somebody who is I'm trespassing not talking on their property. About the it was ranchers. previously stated Castle Law. Castle am, Law, but there's also the stand your ground part. I am the talking law. about the border patrol themselves the, the operating officers yes the operating officers and the national guard <laughs> under my regime are now authorized to if you are trying to illegally cross my border shoot on site shoot on site Here's, i mean and once that gets passed down like that happens a couple of times once, that's going to hit like I'm wildfire sorry, once i stack some bodies everyone figures it out real quick yep and, you know, honestly, the individuals that are crossing illegally, not, I, in my opinion, 90% of the ones that are crossing illegally are up to no good. They're not coming into our country to do good. They're coming into their country, into this country for selfish reasons or to do harm to this country and to individuals in this country. Otherwise, why wouldn't you come in the legal way? No, I don't have a I don't have an answer for the political side of this conversation. The I corruption. Because yeah. of the, the, the political corruption. Because realistically, like other than saying stop the corruption, I don't have a solid answer. I mean, really you know, I, I was watching a show and as fiction as it is, it doesn't really matter. They said, Welcome to DC. This is how we do business. Right? And it's and it, it it was basically it doesn't matter how you do it it's going to be corrupt. You're you're in somebody's bed somehow some way and in order to get something that you need pushed through, 
you got to do something dirty for somebody else. But just because you know that there's going to be corruption does not mean that you have to say, well, I guess there's corruption. I'm just going to accept every measure of corruption that is out there. No. No. Yep. We do the best we can. Right. So right? with what we you got. mitigate it as much as we possibly can. If right. I can jump in on my piece, since have you yeah, yeah have you I'm pushed good. all yours and I'm you good. pushed all yours? I'm just bantering back and forth. I do think no, and I I applaud that. That definitely needs to happen while we're talking about King for an issue. Well, we're almost out of time, so pictures. We got time. We have time. We have plenty of time. Oh, well, I'm gonna banter on yours. I mean, that's so. fine. I do think we need to have a letter of the law. And what I'm not saying corruption won't happen. I'm saying we use the corruption properly. Every single system has been corrupted to date. We don't have a single system, including taxes. Right. Hey, well, you know what? If you want to really get by to the point IRS is even pushing, if you legally sell drugs, just let us know what you pay on taxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what your income is. So we already have this whole section of we know there's corruption. Right. So society-wise, if we know corruption exists, we can use this to push our agenda further for the betterment of society. So if we if we empower the border patrol, border security, shoot on sight. You know, first thing, shoot a warning shot. If they don't back down, okay, well then now we're shooting to kill. Yeah. How come across everywhere else, society-wise, world-wise, we shoot to kill? Iran, yeah. India, Pakistan, China, Russia. I'm sorry, you Russia. start crossing into my border, and it's like, I may or may not give you a warning shot. Where's you your won't... passport? Yeah. the first, Where's your passport? And we're all armed. Legally crossover. Cool, you know what? I, I still understand with this process, illegals, illegal immigrants will still cross over. With or without proper paperwork, it's like, oh, we're trying to push this, or we're we're migrant workers. And it's like, okay, cool. Which migrant workers are still legal by our tax code? Mm -hmm. And Mike, quickly look up. Is it more expensive? How how much does it cost to come over the border legally? Like, how much do you have to pay as a non-U.S. citizen to come over here and get a visa? Okay, keep talking. I'll look it up. So I don't know on that one. I do know they earn enough to pay for. A visa for this. So if we have enough workers to do this, we have enough people coming in to do this. Okay, we have fixed this whole border issue because we're shooting on site. We're doing the proper protocols. We're we're doing everything that needs to happen. Now the political corruption, the way I would fix it, seriously is going to go to IRS. The government's really going to look at. Okay, well where is this? Because most, if not all, a large majority of political corruption is money. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, this Swiss bank account paid this. You know what? Let's track this. Nope, oh, Mike's talking. <clears throat> um, let's see. This is on boundless.com. So I, I, this is just the first website that popped up, right? Um, it says the government filing fees for getting a family-based green card is $3,005 for an applicant. So living family. in the United States, or thirteen forty for an applicant living outside the United States. This does not include the typical cost of the required medical examinations, which varies by provider. So family probably touches about four individuals, mm -hmm. which was like three thousand and change. But, but an individual no, is thirteen hundred. It's three thousand per person per for individual for a family, though. Yes, you so get verbiage you have, is very important, right. especially if you have US. four people in that family. That's twelve thousand twenty dollars. But think about it. But if there you was come the addendum that he, that he talked about. Individual was thirteen forty, I think. Green for, green card application form is one thousand four hundred and forty dollars. 1440 1440 Work permit application form is $260. So that's... So work permit. Migrant workers are 200 and Travel Travel permit application form is $630. So that's 23 Biometrics is $85. 24 State Department processing is $325. 27 
USCIS immigration fee is three or two thirty five, and the medical examination varies. So it's it's the same price. It still stands Actually, it's on more expensive to do it so, that way. It so, still stands on what I want to what talk we're about. Saying, it's a pay to play. Yeah. You it want is. it you want to be a part of America? You want to be a part of this giant melting pot? Yes, we have our issues, but you want to be a part of our melting pot? This is what you have to do. Well, here's Don't the just thing. jump over and be like, they're oh, paying fuck coyotes it. five to ten thousand dollars to get them across the border. And then once they get across the border, they are fing on their own. So don't tell me they don't have the money. Right. Like you're already That's paying the thing. Like you're paying more to a coyote dude. to get you over here and you're taking a risk of dying in the back of a truck. Yeah. Or getting so, sent back over anyway. So realistically, but that being said, I would not be opposed to it costing for, for Mexico specifically. Mexican Correct. immigrants, Mexican workers, specifically for it to be like five fifty and you can get your green card and come over here and work. I would as I agree. As a or adult even a thousand. individual No, we should I do think we should lower it because most, Specifically if not all, for Mexico. Exactly, and because most, if not all, Mexico workers be our boys, but hold have, on. have definitely how touched many, on our blue collar work. How many? <laughs> how many terrorists are coming over our borders who aren't Mexican descent? Who aren't Mexican descent? And right that's now. different. That wouldn't cover under his hierarchical change. Yeah, I'm talking about Mexicans. But I mean, if they're, if they, if they can get a Mexican passport, no, nope, legal or illegal, no, nope, it doesn't touch on that. It, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Mexican, right? We're we're talking about our, our blood brothers across yep. the border, okay. right? Like across these are the our these are yep. our folks. Like they live in a different country, yes, but realistically, like there are next up with door these neighbors. People. Yeah. I grew up with these people, and if they just want to come over here to work and make money and send it back to family, I don't have a problem with that. I just want you to do it legally. Yeah, and pay your taxes. So there's a there's a big difference in what we're talking about and what you brought up, but I think we've touched on King for an issue. We've we have all touched on King for we've an all issue. agreed we need a solid standpoint on this. We need a a proper fix. We've all got different opinions on where that sits. We have got an level. opinion. Put the comment down below. Yeah, throw a comment we'll, down below. We'll yeah, definitely but, tap into it. Um, this has been name pending. Seriously, this has been name pending. Throw a comment down below for King for an issue I for what we talked about. Fuck that like button. Yeah, just fuck that like button. So hard. Tickle that subscribe. And tickle that subscribe. Mm. Make it because it started here first. And, and it's got I'm, gone. I'm Mike Olberson. I'm still keeper. And that's Kel. Uh, uh, Y'all have a good night.